friends, it's ADHD Dude back with another video and today we'll be talking about potential gift ideas to get somebody who has ADHD. Buying a gift for somebody who has ADHD can be kind of difficult because you may not want to get something for the thing that they're into right now because it may just be a hyperfixation that they will not be into in like a week and then the gift will be pointless. So the first gift idea that I have is a fairly cheap one. You can get these at pretty much anywhere but pens and pencils because if they're like me they lose them constantly i started with six pencils in my pencil bag this week and it is friday and i am down to two so if they are somebody who constantly loses their pens and pencils then you could get them some of their favorite brand like personally i like the uniball signo pens and the bic colorful pens pencils pencils these are pencils but this could be a good cheap gift idea if it's something that would help them and they if they lose them constantly will appreciate having more on hand without having to stress of oh no I have to go spend more money on writing utensils because I'm a hot mess. A lot of my next suggestions are going to be fidget toys that I've talked about in my previous video so I won't spend too long on these but I will show you some ideas of fidget toys that you can get them. The first idea is stress balls because Everybody gets stressed occasionally, and this is something that's good for fidgeting with because you can toss it up, you can juggle, you can bounce them off the wall, if you can actually hit the wall, and you can also just rotate them on the desk or just fidget with them with your hand, especially if they're odd shaped like my football. It's fun to just be able to move it around in your hand, and if they're textured, it's even better because for me, I like textured things, and so those ones are better for me. But it's all about personal preference, and so for all of these fidget toys, I suggest asking the person something that they would like because that way you can get them something that will suit them that they will appreciate. The next fidget toy that you could buy for them is one that I've seen a lot on Tumblr. People saying, oh I love mine, oh I want one, oh I used to have one when I was a kid, but it's Tangles. These you can get on Amazon for fairly cheap. Um, this one I got at I think Walmart for like five bucks. This one is the relax. It's either the anxiety or therapy or something along those lines. But I got this one on Amazon. I think it was under ten dollars. I'm not sure. But they're decent for if you want to go low budget and there's something that the other person would fidget with because you can like rotate them around, bend them into shapes. And they're honestly to me a lot of fun. So if this is something they would like, I suggest going with these. Now what fidget toys would, are more infamous than the fidget spinner? A lot of people hate these. There are also a lot of people that love these. So I suggest asking, see if it's something that works for them, because they might have tried it and owned some, but they just didn't work for them. So something you should ask, you can get them for fairly cheap. If they still sell them like Walmart, they're only a couple bucks. You can go at them on Amazon. There are places in at least some malls that you can get them. These are fairly cheap, or you could go fancy expensive and get them some really nice like metal one if you have a, a high budget, but Fidget spinners, if they like them, are a good idea. My next suggestion is my Twiddle Fiddle. Well, the Twiddle Fiddle. I got it on Amazon a while back for, I think, about $15. It might have been less. But the great thing about this is that whenever you scrunch it up and pull it back straight, it does make small clicking noises, but it's not super loud. Like, the camera cannot pick up on this because it's very, very, very faint. And so it works well when you're in a crowded situation or if you're in a quiet situation that you're not making a whole lot of noise because that could be a source of anxiety for them is the fact that they're annoying everybody else around them. But this is something that you can do fairly discreetly without a whole lot of noise or distraction. So this is probably a good idea for something that you could get for them. My next suggestion is another typical fidget thing. It's the fidget cube. If they like them, it's great because there are six different sides for different people who like different things. So... It's always good to, as I said, ask, but this could be a good, fairly cheap option for something to get them also. Any other fidget toy, again, you should probably ask, but they'll probably appreciate the thought that you put into these gifts. But you should just ask when it comes to those sort of things. The next idea that I have is water bottles. Because, like, for example, I forget to drink water all the time, so I try to have a water bottle on me that I can just refill as I need to, and I just have water throughout the day. Because sometimes I will, like, be focused on something where it's just like, oh, I'm thirsty, but I have to go get up and go to, like, a water fountain and go get a drink. And it's just inconvenient, and so I don't. 
you get one that's really cool, really pretty. Just you get one that the other person will just really love because it's with their interests. But a water bottle is probably a pretty good idea of something that you could get them. All right, my final example idea is the most expensive on the list. It's a weighted blanket because. For me personally, I've learned that I love weighted blankets because my best friend has one. And so whenever I stay over there, or I hang out over there, I'm just under it and I'm just like, it's a huge grounding thing for me. Just having the constant pressure on my body can be realized that it helps me to sleep better and it helps me be able to focus sometimes when I'm working on things. So if you have the budget because they're good ones are around $100 or more and it also depends on size and the weight you want to go with about... 7% of the person's weight is how much you want it to be. So I'm about 130-ish pounds. So a 15-pound weighted blanket would be good size for me. But, again, that's also really expensive. And if that's something that they're interested in and you have the money for it, I would suggest getting for them because they will probably appreciate you for the rest of their living life. Alright, that's about all the ideas I have. If you have any more, drop them in a comment down below. And that's it for this video. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will... See you next time.